All right, what do we have here today? Okay. Let's look at get this done. We have a pure. Okay, okay, AP, AP US history, AP world history. Got some physics ones here. Okay, okay. let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, let's. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And okay, okay. I think we got it. All right. So, hello. Welcome to Mr. AP. And today, in breaking news regarding AP news, we have couple things to cover actually in the, la in the last or recent video actually what the other runner of mr. AP has covered the changes to AP CSP exam where they are combating the usage of chat GPT and thus are extending the period of the AP exam from two hours to three hours uh, where you have to explain your create task but today we'll be talking about something else and that something else specifically are several APs that are also undergoing changes which if you're not an NPC and use uh, social medias like TikTok or Instagram, may have already heard of them, but bear with me. I'll be covering them um, again, maybe for some of you, or this may be new information for the others. So, okay, let's begin with, let's quickly modify our window here. Um, first up, we have classes that are in history and social sciences specifically. Um, AP World History and AP United States History. Now, there may be more in addition to this, but uh, for now, let's check out those two. Yeah, so if we go to the um, course and exam uh, pages and we go down, it says the rubric has been updated for the 2023 to 2024 year. So they have specifically updated the DBQ and LEQ to make it much easier for this current year. Um, and because of this, it should be much easier to score points. So specifically... So the AP World History as well as US History rubrics have been modified. The DBQ, as we can see, is still seven points, as well as the LEQ being five points, uh, or six points, actually, my bad. Um, but what has changed is the thesis and claim point and the contextualization remain one point stationary. Not much has been changed with regarding that. However, evidence-wise, for DBQ, you now need to use at least four, not six documents to score the two points. And, well, one point still remains three points three documents and evidence beyond the document is the same but then for analysis and reasoning you need to um hip two documents instead of three to score that one point as well as the complexity description on how to earn, earn that extra point has been clarified and there are numerous ways um that are physically like literally stated on how you can achieve it whereas in the past complexity point was well it was it, kind of tough to earn because you didn't really have criteria for how do you earn it or like not specific ones now you have a more detailed plan um and this goes the same for leq leq now you need to uh where is it where is it um LQ, there are not that many changes, but I guess there's another description in terms of how to earn that complexity point for analysis and reasoning to earn those two points more detailed as is DBQ. And this takes play, and this is for DBQ, no, this is for AP World History and AP US History, and this is taking place currently in 2023 to 2024 year. Now, this may or may not change for the 24 to 25 year, but for now, this is the case. And if you're taking those um, courses currently, then you are set for a good passing grade however this does however mean that if you that because of these changes it's much easier to score points on the written section and thus the cutoff for the scoring um for perhaps let's say scoring a five will be much higher so you do want to make sure you do good on those mcq and saq as well as the leq and D updated dbq and leq so you should earn that five how, so yeah, this change, I mean, I'd like to see how it plays out, but I guess we wouldn't know until the AP exams take place. And on another news, we have AP physics, which is also undergoing uh, changes. Specifically, we have, this is for 2024 to 25 years, so this is not taking effect yet. I'm taking AP physics 1 and 2 currently, so this is not impacting me that much. Um, so AP Physics 1 and 2 are experiencing a greater extent of changes, whereas C is also changing, but not by much. And what are the changes you may ask? Okay, 
Well, for AP Physics 1, the huge one is that there are now 8 units instead of, or there will be 8 units instead of 7, because the AP Physics 2 unit, uh, unit 1, I guess, of AP Physics 2, which is fluids, will be moved to AP Physics 1, and it will be become the 8th unit of that course. And there's some clarification and connections between different objectives and goals in the course and exam description, which are not important. However, the exam updates, there are now 40... Uh, the only thing changed for the MCQ is that multi-select questions are gone. MCQ for multi-select are gone. This is a common trend regarding all these AP physics that we'll get in the second. Um, another thing is section time one remains 90 minutes. Four FRQs instead of five that it used to be, so they decreased it by one. Um, AP physics two, the unit eight is fluids is moved to AP physics one. Um, a bunch of yapping. I mean, that's not really important, but it's just... Uh, just connections between course and exam descriptions. Um, MCQ multi-select are removed as well. Four FRQs remain in AP Physics 2. AP Physics C wise, there um not major content changes. C is just uh just you know like lang consistent language. That's what they're trying to achieve. They keep modifying the course and exam description and communication um within the pdf document um so mcqs are increased exam updates wise from 35 to 45 to 50. section one time is changing almost by double from 45 to 90 minutes mcqs are going from five option to four option much easier uh you have a 25 percent chance greater no uh, no five percent greater chance of getting a question correct um four frqs increased from three so there are a little bit more frqs you see there are four frqs on ap physics 2 one and c apparently as well as the other c um and so, yeah, and section two time is changing from 45 to 90. So the whole exam is actually increasing by some time from 90 to 180 minutes from 90 minutes to three hours. Okay. Physics C, electricity and magnetism wise, again, no major content changes regarding physics C. However, MCQs increased from 35 as well. Uh, section one time increasing effort MCQ from five option to four option. And yeah, basically similar to AP physics uh, C, um, what is it, mechanics? Yeah, mechanics. Okay. So yeah, that's about it for the AP news. Um, for this, we covered AP US history and AP world history and how the DBQ and LEQ are changing. Uh, we covered the AP physics changes that will take place next school year and how you may be affected by them if you take it next year. I'm taking physics C, so I may see some effects of this change. Um, and in the last video or last couple videos back, we covered the AP CSP change. So yeah. Thank you all for watching and I hope you found these news somewhat informative because you may have already knew about these or you are just learning about them. But nevertheless, thank you for watching and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.